In this video, we are going to create our sprites for the second question. So let's go ahead and start with the question sprite over here in my sprite list. I've got question one, but I need to add question two. Well, instead of adding a whole new sprite, we're just gonna add a costume to this sprite. So I'm gonna come up here to the costumes tab and I'm gonna right click on our question one costume and choose duplicate and notice I now have another costume. So for this one, because we made it a vector graphic, we can easily change this one to a two. And we can also change this one to a two. So now we've got our question two costume and notice it even automatically named it question two um, for us. So we're good there. The next thing we need to do is to create sprites. Instead of using, um, instead of creating sprites from scratch, we're just gonna use sprites that we've already created and duplicate. So I'm gonna right click and duplicate choice A. I'm gonna right click and duplicate choice B. And I'm gonna right click and duplicate choice C. So we need to make sure that these are named appropriately. Right now they are not. So for, for choice A, I'm gonna right click, choose info, and instead of Q1A, we're gonna call this one Q2A. And let's go ahead and make this one our correct answer for choice, uh, for question two. So instead of that no on the end, I'm gonna type yes. And now for this one, I'm gonna right click, choose info. And again, instead of question 1B, we're gonna call that question 2B. And we've already set our correct answer to be choice A, so I'm just gonna leave this one at no, and I can delete that number behind it. It just added that because we duplicated from a previous sprite. And then of course, choice C, we're gonna right click, choose info, and we're gonna change that one to a two, and we're gonna put this, put no behind uh, our sprite name, okay? So now we have our second question and now we have choices for Q2A, Q2B, and Q2C. Now, of course, if this were actually um, a game, you would put the, you would actually put the names of the choices on each button. But because we are leaving this like a generic game that we can use for a variety of things, we're gonna just leave choice A, choice B, and choice C. And before I finish this up, I do wanna clean this up a little bit. So I'm actually gonna just click and drag these right over top our question one choices, just so they'll appear in the same place. Okay, so now we have our sprites for question two. And the next video, we are going to code these sprites. See you in the next video.